Despite being signed in January, Vitor Roque has struggled to prove his worth and has received criticism for his performance. According to Gerard Romero, Deco recently met with Roque's father and agent to discuss his future, bringing him closer to leaving the club. Despite being given a chance by Hansi Flick to revive his career, Roque failed to make an impact during preseason. Barcelona are now considering letting him go in order to reduce the wage bill and generate revenue. Roque has attracted interest from Serie A and Premier League clubs, with Lazio particularly interested. The Brazilian striker rejected a move to Saudi Arabia in order to continue playing at a high level. Barcelona now needs to sell him quickly before the end of the transfer window. According to reports, Julian Araujo's transfer to Bournemouth is close to being finalized for 10 million euros. In addition, according to a recent update from Bar Canalets, Bournemouth are also interested in signing Vitor Roque. Since being signed in January 2024, Roque has made 14 appearances for Barcelona, making two starts and scoring two goals. In fact, the arrival and immediate adaptation of Pau Victor has only complicated Roque's chances of succeeding at the club and earning minutes. Bournemouth are proposing a loan with an option to buy. Joan Laporta and Coens are not inclined to sell Roque permanently due to the high fee they paid for his signing. A loan transfer could be accepted, but the buyout clause could be a problem. Now, according to Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona have already informed Vitor Roque that he needs to find a new club. If he remains with the team, there is a significant risk that Barca will not be able to register him for next season due to the current problems with La Liga's salary cap. The financial restrictions imposed by La Liga's wage regulations mean that the club has to get rid of players in order to balance its books, and Vitor Roque is one of those sacrificed. According to the Daily Briefing, Barcelona have set a price of 60 million euros for Frankie de Jong, which could free up a return to the 1.1 rule. Manchester United are interested, but are only willing to offer 30 to 40 million euros. Barcelona are seeking a higher valuation. De Jong's departure could reduce the club's wage bill and increase finances. Rafinha's future at Barcelona is uncertain, as clubs in England and Saudi Arabia are offering lucrative contracts. Rafinha has emerged as a serious candidate to leave Barcelona this summer. The Brazilian winger did indeed have a good campaign last season, but Barcelona and Hansi Flick are still doing everything they can to sign Nico Williams. A new left winger, needless to say, will take Rafinha completely off the market. According to Adrian Sanchez, Rafinha has received a triple salary offer from Saudi Arabia, and Al Nasser are willing to pay 100 million euros for his signature. In addition, the last reported offer included a salary of 20 million euros net per season. But it is unclear whether this is the club that has offered triple the salary. Although Rafinha has rejected previous offers to stay at Barcelona, a possible move to Newcastle United in England has sparked interest. The Magpies have reignited their interest in Rafinha and are looking to negotiate the right terms for a transfer. Barcelona are looking to recoup their investment in the player. Barcelona are interested in signing João Cancelo at right back, but negotiations with Manchester City are not going well. If Cancelo isn't signed, Jules Conde will take the field with Hector Ford and Alex Valle in reserve. According to AS, Barcelona are also keeping tabs on Trent Alexander-Arnold, whose contract with Liverpool expires in 2025. Real Madrid are also interested in the Englishman. Although Alexander-Arnold is unlikely to leave Liverpool this summer, his future after 2025 is uncertain and a move to Barcelona is possible. However, there is nothing concrete at the moment. Liverpool are willing to renew his contract. If Barcelona don't sign Cancelo, Alexander-Arnold could be an option in 2025. On Sunday evening, Sergi Roberto announced his departure from Barcelona after 18 years. His contract was due to expire on June 30th, and although a renewal proposal was on the table, it wasn't a priority for the club. Tributes and good wishes were received from his teammates, including Lionel Messi. Messi used social media to wish Roberto good luck in his future challenges. Posting a photo of the two of them together, the record Ballon d'Or winner wrote, All the best of luck in your new face. I wish you all the best. There are many similarities between the way Roberto and Messi left Barcelona. Three years ago, the Argentine star also waited for the club to finalize his renewal after his previous contract expired, only to be told that his registration would be impossible, forcing him to leave for free. Joan Laporta didn't do enough to keep the best player in soccer history. It would be no different with Sergi Roberto. Roberto's departure also comes under similar circumstances, with Barcelona failing to secure his registration. The 32-year-old has plenty of options on the table as he decides the next step in his career. Barcelona considered the possibility of signing a new holding midfielder, but instead focused on signings for the attack. Coach Hansi Flick has confirmed that he has no plans to bring in a new midfielder. However, there is still the possibility of signing Carney Chukwemeka from Chelsea. According to sports Tony Juanmarti, Barcelona like his dynamic and versatile profile and have been in contact with Chelsea and his agents. Chukwemeka would be willing to join Barcelona. The club is keeping him as an option in case the coach changes his mind.
In August, things can change quickly in soccer. Eric Garcia and Pau Kubarsi have returned to training after winning gold at the Paris Olympics. This increases their defensive options, affecting the future of Mika Faye. Faye's departure seems likely, with interest from Wren, according to Sport. Recent interest from Wren's has reignited talks for Faye's transfer. Fabrizio Romano claims that Rennes have formally sent an offer for Faye worth around 10 million euro. The proposal also includes an important sell-on clause of around 20 to 25% on any future sale. Such a deal looks increasingly likely as Faye acknowledges his limited prospects in the Barca first team and his reluctance to return to the lower level first federation. For Barcelona, the 10 euro million from Faye's sale is crucial, adding to the 18 million euro already raised this summer from the sale of Marc Guiu and similar deals involving Chadi Riyad and Estanis Pedrola. Barcelona wants to raise funds for financial fair play, and Faye's departure is necessary. João Felix's move to Barcelona last summer on a loan deal revived his career. He made an impact in La Liga with seven goals and three assists, but a permanent transfer was difficult due to the high fee charged by Atletico Madrid. Aston Villa and Benfica were also interested, but failed to meet Atletico's demands. However, Atletico Madrid are making moves in the transfer window, with signings such as Julian Alvarez and Conor Gallagher. However, their plan to sell Samuel Morodion to Chelsea fell through, putting the whole operation at risk. Now they are considering including João Félix in a deal for Gallagher. Félix's agent is already in London to finalize the transfer. This news is a blow to Barcelona's plans, who had hoped to bring Félix back on loan. With Nico Williams far from joining Barca, the club were once again including João Félix in their plans, but may fail.